Hey everyone, Senrai Kai here. Today I'm going to be watching the fourth episode of the third season of Yudu Camp. I almost called it Yudu Yudi for a second. It's a very different show. This is a great show, but not, not this show. But yeah, this one's about camping, so let's jump on in and see if we do any camping today. So, three, two, one, play. Ika, Ikawa. Nadeshko, she's been all... Riding trains a lot. <laughs> That's an accent she has. <laughs> no, I'm good. I got I got snacks. Don't don't underestimate me. Oh Jeff Chan. <laughs> now I wanna watch Yuri Yuri. <laughs> But yeah, I'll be honest, whenever I hear the word you do, that is what, that's where my mind goes. Like, I know you do, you didn't, didn't invent the word you do, you know, but uh, always what comes to my mind when I see that word. So, not really fair to you do a camp. Because you do itself, I think, just means like loose, like chill, like chill, like kind of what it means, you know, something like that. You do. But, <sighs> Hatanagi attack death road from hell. Fair enough. Good, <laughs> I know, yeah. Yeah, the moment when you get out of the tunnel and see the scenery. It's a nice moment. <laughs> ah, that would suck. <laughs> Let's, uh... Let's camp on Rin's head next time. I would certainly be fully in favor of Nadeshko doing that. I <laughs> got that. Like, you know what mechs do? I think, he, I think he even had the mech kind of sound effect right there for it, too. But yeah, got tie this one, like, you have two mechs that combine into a bigger mech, you know? The Japanese term for it. Not 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 as cool, you know, but <laughs> but they're doing it here. It can also be taken in kind of a sexual context, but you know. but mostly it's you know mechs combined, and that's usually how the term is used. Camp Ichishiro. I think the O, which is a smiley face, but. I mean, they had plenty of bridge fun last episode. Look at those shoulders move. More trains. Isoguzo. 
Why is she so fun and cute and energetic all the time? <laughs> is it that scary? <laughs> There's probably no ghosts in it. <laughs> probably, hopefully. But yeah, being alone would make it worse. I have seen a couple anime where there's ghosts in that kind of tunnel, but it's probably fine here. <laughs> and I was just talking about how ganky she was a second ago. Oh, there it is, the light at the end of the tunnel. Oh, motherfucker, wow. It's okay. I can't. I can't. I can't. I'm not gonna lie. That really caught me off guard. <laughs> That's just not cool. <laughs> Poor Nadeshko. <laughs> yeah, there was like monsters, yokai, like. <laughs> I was so messed up. <laughs> oh. Sobbing intensifies. <laughs> No, I was ambushed in the tunnel. <laughs> Poor Nadeshko. <laughs> I feel bad laughing at her, but that was great. I so did not see that coming. My eyes are watering a bit. <sighs> oh, that is a view. There's a Nagashima Dam. <laughs> That's one way to look at it. Um, yeah. how, did, how, how, how did you do that with your face? <laughs> I guess we'll try. <laughs> We're just, it's not going to work. We, we, made, we made an effort, though. Nadeshko goes pretty good with her mouth, but I guess she has limitations. Don't fall. <laughs> I don't be late. <laughs> no ni mas. Don't leave without me. She looks pretty really excited to be doing her job. That, that is a, a bit that sounds like borderline tongue twister in Japanese. Hey, they do exist. <laughs> Did she fall asleep? Oh, oh, that does look dangerous. <laughs> The rock said hello, but they are not friendly. Oh. Okay, yeah. I agree. Dangerous, but funny. <laughs> Gotta watch out for those rocks, man. They'll jump out at you. Gonna go check the egg, check out the egg. You, you, you do that, girl. Have you seen her in the tunnel? That was my best motorcycle impression.
<laughs> I would love to. <laughs> uh, that always sounds like a good idea. But often you you end up regretting it. Scarita. Poor bike. Nice and steamy. Does look pretty good. Wait, what? Japan. Thanks to that damn mountain. <laughs> you know, they're throwing a lot of Japanese words at me. <laughs> Dang, that's definitely before their time. Yeah, someone her age couldn't even fathom that amount of time. I mean, this girl's like, what, 16 or so? Gurgle maps. She's kind of, she's kind of a weirdo. It, it, it does. That's because it's so general for, you know, covers the whole world, so it can't get too, you know... They can't be super efficient on every area. <laughs> yeah, life was a lot harder before you had Google Maps. You had to take out a folded up paper map and try to read it and navigate where to go. Back in my day, it was, it was horrible. Not tunnels, not the tunnels. And she has very little skin revealed. <laughs> How many more tunnels is it? <laughs> like she almost looks like a bad guy, like a cartoon bad guy with just the face covered and everything. It's just well, almost like one of the uh, characters from the last period. <laughs> don't don't fall off, girls. But congrats on uh, making it so this far. <laughs> Not with that attitude.
<laughs> you know. <laughs> One thing this little arc has made clear. Is how much funner any kind of trip like this is if you have at least one friend with you. As opposed to being alone. It really changes a lot about it. Let's go. Get a stretch for a second here. Uh, uh. We RPG characters, we got this. Makarimashita. <laughs> ah, yes, I remember the rocks. What do what do they find? <laughs> Are those puddles? Oh, that does that does kind of suck. That sucks. Cute. <laughs> okay. Magodidas. Go Magodidas. Her laugh, just I love her laugh. I, mean, I just love everything about the character. Let's make that make let's make this clear. Just the way she says almost everything. So Nanda. I almost want to look at the voice actress and see what other stuff she's done. Oh, okay. That, <laughs> I can hardly believe that's a real bridge. Because <laughs> it is how dangerous that is. That would never fly here in America. <laughs> It's almost like a different genre of show when they're on this bridge. <laughs> yeah, don't do that. <laughs> that is so dangerous. <laughs> that would be worse. That'd be way worse. Rin John, if we don't make it out of this, I love you. You know, this, this is already making me think of Shrek. <laughs> uh, it's more so making me think of Shrek. With the we're halfway there line. <laughs> this is just so dangerous. <laughs> We made it. Beware of bears. <laughs> Maybe we are on an RPG journey. <laughs> Some people are not so cut out for the adventure life. Yeah, Rin and Adishko thought the tunnel was scary. She doesn't know true scary. <laughs> I do want to see Nadeshko cross that bridge now. I, I I need that in my life. You don't you don't understand. Rainbow Bridge. Social media has really ruined the rainbow symbol for me. Go 
Exp expensive looking. Panorama mode. Let's spin. That's what panorama is, right? You spin, you make a fold. I, I think, I don't know. I, I just wanted to see her spin. <laughs> we definitely needed this after all that. You know, I was thinking the same thing. I wouldn't mind it a little, little hotter. So let's start making it out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you had a great face too, but yeah, hers was good. <laughs> there is just such great chemistry between these two. I can hardly believe the entire show just hasn't been these two hanging out the whole time. Like... That they feel like they've been best friends since they were three years old, like. That gets crazy. <laughs> I'm still thinking about that freaking bridge scene. <laughs> So precious. <laughs> the title. The face. Yeah, watch out for those rocks. I assume that's from Ren. And she has to throw an emoticon in there. Her own emoticon. Way. This show really does have that you do energy to it. Campfires and beef feasts. Matsuri is what they translate as feasts. Whatever. Usually Matsuri would be translated as festival. Not a big deal. Okay. That that uh, that was the fourth episode of the third season of Yudu Camp. This was a fun one, for sure. First, we started off with a lot of the Nadeshko stuff, right? She's doing her best. She rides trains. She talks to people on the train, you know about snacks and she goes to the tunnel there was really two highlights of this episode one was the tunnel the other one was the, the bridge but uh, yeah Nadeshko at the tunnel she was so scared right I want to go back to the moment where she, where the uh where we see the scary stuff you know if I don't actually click away from it because it's right about here because she sees the light at the end of the tunnel and you know I didn't notice it at first I mean now I can see it's clearly there even in the darkness but at first I was just looking at the light at the end of the tunnel so I didn't notice it but then, right, right after she comments on it, the lights go on as if they're like motion censored, you know? And uh, we have a grave skeleton. It looks like a ghost, the umbrella yokai thing. And uh, some dude with a, one eye and a tongue out. That's what we got there. At least the skeleton's being friendly, like he's waving. Like none of them really, really seemed malicious, right? But uh, it kind of doesn't matter. <laughs> they popped out of nowhere. <laughs> All staring at Nadeshko. <laughs> that is some scary shit, no matter how you look at it. These tracks were abandoned when the ABT railway was shut down. 
And the skeleton even moved his mouth, as if it wasn't scary enough. But but when it comes to mouths, the Deshka was not to be outdone. Her mouth was just wide open, like to the point where you could fit a log in there, you know, as she's sweating. And then the tears start coming out. And the scream. And then she was gone, like a Scooby-Doo kind of run, just, you know, the legs start moving, but you stay in place for a second, and then just, you just go for it. I don't think she's ever moved that fast in her life. Is currently decorated with ghosts handmade by the locals. And Nadeshko is forever traumatized. Spooking passerbys. And I, as great as that was, it was made even better by the, just the sobbing when she was trying to, you know, speak to the dude. He just, he's just doing his job saying the lines he always says through Nadeshko's sobbing. It was so good. I felt bad laughing at her because she was clearly in distress, but it was so damn funny. <laughs> so that, that that was great. Not too much more to say about Nadeshko's side of things. We got uh, went over to the Ren side of things. Right? And they go on the various bridges and whatnot. The bikes getting tired. They eat their food, even though, you know, somebody wanted to go hungry. But uh, that, that plan kind of changed. But... Ran into issues, you know. Yeah, I don't know, just being a weirdo. You know, like the RPG talk as she's looking at Google Maps description to how to go somewhere. But we ride the bike, we go through all these tunnels, none of which are as scary as the one that Ashkanishka went through. They're all tuckered out on, like, the bridge. Eventually they decide what to do next. <laughs> you know, Rin getting all pumped up, and they, they, they see the puddles, you know. that's It's annoying, but not too bad, really. They had the whole grandpa bike thing. That was a nice little connection there. They translated Mago Raidas as Grand Riders. I kind of want to go back to that because so, I didn't really notice what the translation was the first time. Which, uh, I don't like that translation. <laughs> like, Grand can refer to a lot of things. Obviously, context is supposed to mean grandfather, like short for grandfather. You know? <laughs> But, uh, and I, I get it, like, it's, because Mago means grandchild, and it's just a very short word, as opposed to, you know, grandchild being a much longer word. So I get, so I understand it wouldn't flow, it doesn't, they're trying to make it flow better, but, I don't know, just Mago Raida sounds like a real name, it sounds so much better. And you can obviously see what it's, thanks to the help of a little thing called kanji, you know, you know what it means immediately. But, but that was, it was, either way, it was a nice little segment there. And then we got to the bridge, right? <laughs> Quite possibly the most terrifying bridge in the show so far, per perhaps in life. Because it was windy, it was shaking, there was not much in the way of, like, rail support. Like, there was something there, like, it wasn't just completely empty like a video game might do it. But, like, <laughs> it was that was some scary stuff, man. We got some great looks on Ayano's face. But <laughs> we saw a sign about bears and we just we, we turned around and we hightailed it out of there. We had another adventure for one day. <laughs> but that was a lot of fun. And then we had the hot springs scene. Two of them just kind of enjoying melting, making fun of each other for uh, their scared faces. And ending us off with a little bit of fisting in the bath. Ayano herself is just a great character in general. Not only does she play off of Rin really well, but like, she could have her own show. She could be the protagonist, protagonist of her own slice of life anime. And I would watch the shit out of it, dude. Just, just her voice, the voice acting... The way she says so many lines, like, aren't even really all that interesting lines by themselves, but the way she says it, her tone of voice, the inflection, and everything, <laughs> little laugh she did at a couple points, like, sh everything about it just, she really just puts personality into it, into things, into everything. Like, I don't know, it's, it's just so great, I love that girl. <laughs> like, I can't believe she hasn't been a part of the show more often, like, I would replace... Chiaki or Aoi with this character like no offense to those characters, but like I like her better She 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 should just replace one of those other characters. I, I, I just you know Not 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 to piss off anyone whose favorite characters are those are those characters, but you know to me I, I would rather have her that's, that's all I'm saying. I, I wouldn't replace Nadeshko. I like Nadeshko too much for her to be replaced, but Really good stuff a lot of good stuff. So I feel like you've been on this journey just to get to the camping for a while, but next episode might actually start to, you know, be intense and, and like have a real camping experience. Might might happen next episode, but but yeah, that's all I really had to say. So thank you for watching and hope to see you in the next video. Until then, bye bye.